It is 1d10, right? Let me check. Yeah, it's one. Yeah, I rolled a three. I don't help. <laughs> it, if it Sorry. lands on three or below. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sorry, don't help. He rolled. I'm not feeling it today, guys. <laughs> Just want to sit back and relax. All um, right. Do we still have to share What's our bounty that? with this person? Okay, Jason. We are not sharing the bounty with him. You now have to oh, do a saving throw. Bounty. So on your character sheet, on the first page, there should be saving throw. Oh, okay, hang on. It, it's uh, the heart in your death saves. You gotta click on the heart. Okay, hang on. Character sheet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can feel I'm not gonna do anything in the campaign, apparently. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> click, click on the heart, you said? Yeah, on the heart. Yep. Two failures. Oh. Uh, it is so. At three failures, you are dead. No. Wow. Did Gorlock just die? No, he did not just die. He is now. He, he can see the darkness closing in all around him. Uh, but he is no, not okay, dead. Well, got it. <laughs> now, just a heads up. As a player, you can attempt to stabilize him. If you attempt to stabilize him, he gets a plus five to his next death save. And if you roll a natural 20 while attempting to stabilize him, he will instantly wake up with one hit point. However, okay. if he faints again in this encounter, he will be permanently out for the encounter. Uh, so, okay, as long as I'm not dead. Yeah, as long as you're not dead. However, if you do... Like, if they wake you up at one hit point, and then you get hit again, and then you fall over again, you will have to death save all over again. Gotcha. But if you roll a natural 20 yourself, you instantly come back up with one hit point again, like I said. Gotcha, yeah. Okay. okay. Is the guy that I was hitting before oh, um, dead? Yes, he's dead. He got a dagger through by the eyes by the merchant. Yes, thank you, merchant. <laughs> it is now the archer's turn. They are all going to attempt to shoot the robot who seems to be running super, super fast. Just godlike. They all miss. Two, one of them hitting the mer hitting the girl, uh, hitting the android, but the arrow just flying off in a random direction. The other two just miss terribly. They don't even know what they were aiming at. The sun got in their eyes. Malfi's turn. Malfi's turn. Yes. Malfi goes up to Gorlag and is going to do uh, use her first aid. Okay, so you have a, for a healer's kit, right? Yes. All right, so with your healer's kit, you get a plus two to this roll. Now, what you need to roll is da -da 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 medicine. You get plus two because you have a healer's kit. Okay. You rolled a five. You put a band-aid where he does not have a cut. Seriously? <laughs> Amethyl's turn. Huh? Oh, it's Your me! Turn. <laughs> I put a band-aid where there is a cut. It just doesn't do anything. Fine. Oh, there, there, there. I have to roll on that. Do I? I don't have to roll the... You put a band-aid where the intestines are falling out. No, oh, Gorlag. Oh, okay, uh, you gotta move up to somebody first. Oh, there. Sorry. I, I, don't, I don't know who you're attacking, so you could be attacking yourself <laughs> for all I know. Well, we are trying too much. And it's because like, the thing is, it's not peeking on him. I'm clicking on him, and it's not like. You have to click and hold. Oh, there. Oh, okay. That's, that's what I meant to do. All right. Well, you have advantage, so you have a 20. You hit him, and you deal. Also, deal. roll another 1d6. Okay. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. That's not what I want to do. All right. Once again, with your battle axe glowing with arcane power, you cut into him and cleave him in two. He falls over dead. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it is now the merchant's turn. The merchant, seeing the fallen orc, pushes Malfury out of the way, grabbing the <laughs> healer kit. 
saying, move out of the way, girl. You have no idea what you're doing. Rude. And he's probably right. Probably. He pushes me out of the way to, to heal him. Uh, he, he, you he, get a plus five on your next saving. Canvas, 1d10. Run, d10. Do I help? I do not help. I don't. I'm not. Sorry, guys. I'm comfy over here. Sun's just right. Can't help. Jason, death save. Uh, 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 Maybe one day I'll decide to help. More luck. One success. Uh, does that mean more luck wake up now? No, you have to get three successes before three failures. Uh, All right. It's now all the archers' turn. Wait, the... but they're dead. No, there's two more on the bottom. Wait, what? South of you. Oh my gosh. Damn it. They're both shooting at the android, and one of them hits for a critical. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, hi, two other orcs I did not see. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Wait, who are they attacking? You. Me? Yes, you. You are literally a pulsing death machine of magic who just cleared two of the brethren in half. I'd be aiming at you two. You take seven damage. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, so now my Iran ability kicks in? Yes, you are now bloodied. Uh, <clears throat> now, what bloodied does, it means that bloodied usually happens when you're below half hit points. However, and what it does is there's certain abilities that can only be used on bloodied targets. And there's certain abilities that you can get that activate when you're bloodied. Like okay. a berserker, like let's say like a barbarian that falls below half hit points, he goes immediately into a blood rage. Mm -hmm. Like that's what uh, the other guy has, that the, that the other orc has. Where he, if he falls below half hit points, he goes into a battle trance. Yeah. Okay. Now, you currently have no abilities that activate when you're bloodied. However, one of the orcs may have ability where they can see you easier and target you easier, etc. <sighs> okay. Gotcha. But that's just an example on what bloodied is. It's not like you're going to run away from battle now because you're scared or some shit. It's, it's not that. Okay, that's what, that's what I thought. And I was like, but that's... Okay, gotcha. This unit is compromised. Abort, abort. But yeah, you took uh, seven damage, so even if you... Well, actually, no, you, you're a robot, so you wouldn't go into bloodied status yet. But you're at hit, half hit points now. Okay. All right, now it's Malfuria's turn. Malfuria takes her back, back her healer's kit again and is going to try and heal, heal, heal Gorlak. All right. We must save Gorlak. Sadly, I do not have a healer's kit. Alright. Did my roll out? I have a potion of healing. Alright, so now you get another plus five to your next death save. It is now Amethyl's turn. Kill them. Yes, hold on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yep. Awesome. Wait, I'm at right here. And I'm gonna attack this one. But this one. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this one in half now. Wait, what? All right. Now, because you're bloodied and you move into an adjacent square of the archer, he is going to try and attack you with the longsword he has at its side. Wait, what? And it's a natural twenty. And he rolls a natural twenty. Oh, fuck. Well, there goes the android. You take Man. five damage. This is off to a really, this campaign's off to a really shitty start. <laughs> it might end quite soon. However, so, wait, who's gonna fix me? Are you guys engineers? Uh, no. I'm technically a spellcaster, but that works, right? I got no magic to heal you. I got dust. I can throw dust in you. At you. 
Hold on, what do I have? I have, I think I have something in my inventory that I can probably try and help you with. Alright, so you're at two hit points right now, and... Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. I have zero. Hey, I can try Roll... and do... I can try and do... Guys, magic guys. Okay. <laughs> Roll 1d6 as well. Oh, me? Yes. You, you always right. have to roll 1d6 extra after you attack. Okay. Those are your advantages. All right. You deal nine damage to him. He's now on the floor. You cut him a nice good slash across his chest. Like he's still alive? He is still alive. Sorry, I didn't mean to do dark red. <sighs> Why won't you die? All right, he's now bloodied. It was at this moment, the Iran became a barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> the merchant moves over this way, pulling out another dagger from his pocket. I don't think this guy's a merchant. <laughs> <laughs> he's a rogue. And hits the orc right between his eyes. What yeah, I don't think he's a merchant at all. I think he's actually a... Like a professional thief. What did he steal? And the orc falls over dead. It is now Candlis' turn. Wait, wait, wait. Did the other orc die or not? Yes. He killed, he killed the one that was wounded. Oh, okay. There's still one orc left. I help. Finally. <laughs> Everyone's dead. Now it's my time to shine. <laughs> It's my time to shine. That, that's my turn. I just run. I charge, but run out of breath before I get there. <laughs> <Sorry. Yes! laughs> <laughs> Alright, Jason, you got a plus you got a plus five to this roll, roll. Hey, at least I moved. You totally suck. Hey, I moved, okay? That's what counts. Alright, another success. Utterly. <laughs> that, was a, that was a success? Yeah, because you got plus five. And because you got, you're getting healed, you got advantage. So you got the six, the six roll instead of the four. Oh, okay. You're lucky there. <laughs> if you didn't have advantage, it would just be just barely a failure. But you'd still die. Um, but now it is the archer's turn. The archer, seeing that all of his comrades are now dead, attempts to bolt. Whoa. No, I have that allowed. I need to zoom out a little. 